It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Every year at this time there's always emails, there's always posts, there's always articles about how to survive Edinburgh. And they always look at things like making sure you've got waterproofs, making sure you've got flyers, making sure that you use the most of the opportunity of Edinburgh. But one of the things that people generally tend to overlook is how to stay mentally healthy during the fringe. No one is under any illusions that Edinburgh can be an absolute mind. So what I thought might be helpful this year is to give people different coping mechanisms to how to stay mentally healthy during the fringe. First up, it might sound obvious, but make sure that you take a break. You can't expect to do 3,000 shows a day for 25 days and not expect something to crack. Make sure you take breaks little and often, if that's going and having a coffee with a mate, or maybe going up Arthur's Seat, maybe checking out Carlton Hill, or even going down to Portobello. Whatever you do, make sure you get those little opportunities to get out of the fringe mindset. And I know that there is an anxiety that you'll be missing out, that opportunities will be coming up, but the honest answer is, if you manage to take a break, your shows will be better, you'll get more out of it, and actually, you'll probably have more fun. Surprise! Second up is booze. Uh, don't forget that the fridge runs from the 3rd to the 27th of August. Uh, and if you want to drink every single night that week, knock yourself out, but you probably will. It is an arts festival, not a stag do. And if you drink every single night, it's probably gonna have an impact on that mental health. I'm in a glass case of emotion. Thirdly, be honest with people. If you're having a shit day, then tell people that you're having a shit day. And you know what? They might be having a short day as well and you might be able to help them. There's loads of help and support at Fringe Central this year. For example, on the 8th of August, there is a workshop on how to have a mentally well fringe. On the 14th of August, the Mental Health Foundation are doing a free event up there as well. And throughout the entire festival, there's different help, support, and different things that you can get into. Everything from yoga and guided meditation all the way through to the number for the Samaritans if you're feeling really That's fine. Really? <laughs> also, try and eat healthy as well. I realise that I'm no one really to lecture anybody about nutrition, but if we know anything about Scotland as a nation, it's they're a big nation of healthy eaters. So make sure that you make the most of that. If you eat shit, you're probably gonna feel shit. So why not do yourself a favour? You've got places like the Hula Juice Bar, which is down by the grass market, Urban Angel, which is over in Newtown, and lots of different shops and cafes all around Edinburgh. Eating well can help you feel well, and that will help you be mentally better. Slapjack and a cigarette? Hmm? Alright. Sugar and a waffle? No. Pipe and a grape? No. Bong and a blend? And finally, try not to take yourself too seriously. I know there's going to be a lot of stress, a lot of pressure, and yeah, I get it that there's a lot of money worries, but at the end of the day, if you don't look after your mental health, it's only going to get worse. If you need any more information, check out these websites. They'll give you a lot more support, as well as Fringe Central as well. Don't forget to have fun at the Fringe. It's the best time of year. It's nearly there. I will see you soon. Goodbye!